in the past couple of days we have heard a lot of stories emanating from Akiri Dulu's ill health. You know, Akiri Dulu has refused to resign. He's still in power as the governor, and he has also refused to transfer power to his deputy. Tenobu has tried to intervene in the you know little way he can. Uh, at first, we heard that uh, Tenobu was trying to pressure Akiri Dulu to resign. But alas, it was that uh, Tenobu was able to tell the deputy of Akiri Dulu, you know, to still have more patients and work together with Akiri Dulu. But anyway, um, recently, just a few days ago, we also heard how associates, how government officials have been using the governor's signature you know, to carry out some dubious acts. We all know that the normal thing to do, you know, seeing that Akiri Dulu is incapacitated, he cannot function as a governor, the normal thing to do is to leave that job, to leave the job, to leave the office and allow somebody who who, who is okay elsewise, you know, to occupy that position. Don't get me wrong, I feel sorry for him, I feel sorry for his family because he must be going through a lot. You know, he's suffering from cancer of the blood. But at the same time, you cannot allow the old state to suffer. You know, you cannot put the old state to ransom all because of your heel health. And um, according to a lot of sources, we've heard that most of the time, Akere Dulu is not even lucid enough to know what is going on around him. We heard that he has even insisted to be carried to a war, his hometown, so that he can, you know, rest and, you know, die peacefully there. But his family, both his wife and his son, has refused to grant him that wish. Today we are hearing that uh, his situation has so much deteriorated to the extent that is not even he doesn't even know what's going on in the surroundings is not aware of what is going on in the surroundings and you know according to the sources as well the son is pleading with Tinubu to you know have them let them have access to the country's airplane aircraft so that they can take a carry the loo out of the country because he is in need of emergency you know attention before we go into the details of today's news if you haven't subscribed to this channel please this is the right time for you to subscribe like this video turn on the post notification bell leave your opinions in the comment section as well breaking news akeri dolu proceeds on medical leave transfers power to deputy governor rotimi akeri dolu is expected to proceed on medical leave on Wednesday, December 13, 2023, as a follow-up to his medical treatment. This was made known in a statement issued and signed by his Chief Press Secretary, Richard Olatunde in Akure. Olatunde said that during his medical leave, the governor will prioritize his health and ensure a full recovery before resuming his official duties. According to him, a formal letter regarding the medical leave and the notice formally transferring power in line with the Nigerian constitution will be transmitted to the House of Assembly. In the absence of Governor Kerry Dulu, the Deputy Governor Honorable Loki Orimiso Ayiditiwa will assume the responsibilities of a governor in an acting capacity. Governor Akiri Dulu expresses his gratitude to the or for the unwavering support and affection of the people of Undo State. He assures them that his administration remains committed to the path of progress and prosperity for the people. As a senior advocate of Nigeria and widely respected Nigerian, Governor Akiri Dulu has consistently delegated power to his deputy during his annual vacations. The statement added that this practice was observed on April 1st, 2021, 
April 1st, 2022, April 3rd, 2023, and July 10th, 2023, when he embarked on previous vacations. According to news sources as well, Tinubu has called for a second meeting, you know, an urgent one this time around, because I think now they are realizing that, you know, no matter how we prolong this transfer of power, it must happen because it's just the right thing to do. I don't know how an alien man, you know, someone who is not capable to 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 do to perform his duties as a governor of the state still continues to be in power. How oh, because of what? At a time it was the wife and the son that was running the government. At a time we heard that signatures his signatures were being, you know, uh, faked you know by of government officials all because there's a loophole if there's no loophole if he had given his deputy you know the free will to perform in his absence you know everything would have been in order apart from even giving his deputy the free will to perform he's not even ready to resign and the president <laughs> it was backing him but this time around i think that they are starting to realize he couldn't even sign the letter of transfer. He had to sign it electronically because he's incapacitated at the moment. The letter of transfer had to be signed electronically and sent you know, to, to the House of Assembly in the state. It's just so sad that he's going through all of this at this time. But, you know, they got to do what they got to do, you know. <laughs> they have to do what they have to do. Before we go, guys, let's take a look at some reactions online. Ari Fallo Daily says, I wish you quick recovery, but when you return in good health, give me my own share of undo state wealth. Hmm. Ahmed says, I saw a write-up, someone praying for Akiri Dulu, and is putting in Jesus' name. These are the people that made your parents and yourself incapacitated, looted your treasure, and looted you people's lives and education. When we are doing this, did they? Re when he was doing this, did they remember Jesus Christ? Now, now that is dying, you are now praying in Jesus' name. I pity you, poor people. Paul says, "Why all the delays and arguments when?" It has to be done constitutionally the easy way. Another person says, Big shame to this country, Nigeria, and shame to our so called politicians. You people are just deceiving yourself. You don't have any hospital that can accommodate anyone of you except you move out of a country. Lastly, from Igwe Bueki. Don't hand over. Hold on to power even when you can't hold a pen or talk well. You have installed your arrogant son who is less than 40 but addresses men of his father's age mates by name. Commissioners report to him. Keep playing politics with your life. Olushe Gwagagu of blessed memory was there before you and is no more. What does the constitution say when a sitting governor is incapacitated? We in Ondo states keep watching the season film. You all let me what let me have your thoughts in the comment section. Like this video, subscribe. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.